don't think we need a mandatory mask requirement simply from the fact that I think people will do what's right. They don't need a government mandate to do that. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss renewed his opposition to a statewide mask mandate just one day after Governor Tony Evers said he would consider one if he had the power. We really don't know uh, if I have the authority to do that. Evers blamed a Republican lawsuit and state Supreme Court ruling in May for limiting his ability to respond to coronavirus. We continue to be hamstrung by a chaotic decision by the Supreme Court. Has hamstrung the state's ability to respond properly. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a typical response from Governor Evers to say that the Supreme Court following the Constitution and the law is somehow endangering the public. That's not true. Voss said the response to any outbreaks should be handled at the local level. What steps should the state take, if any, to respond to rising case numbers? I don't think we have seen in Wisconsin uh, a dramatic increase in hospitalizations. Uh, thankfully, uh, we have seen a, a small increase in deaths, which is a good thing. I think that's because people are doing all the smart things. So again, I don't think we need a one-size-fits-all solution at the state level. And in putting the responsibility back on local governments, the speaker said he supports local cities like Milwaukee instituting a mask mandate. That's a local decision that they have to make. You don't think those should be challenged? Uh, I do not. I, I think that, again, common sense should prevail. In Oak Creek, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News. Governor Evers today did order all state employees when they're working inside to wear masks. Also, he said the state capitol, which has been closed since March and was slated to reopen next week, will not reopen to the public after all.